two. Oh, there's a good opening audio for the video. But I finished eating, so it's guaranteed to happen. Do you want to be able to play the game? <laughs> he wants all the blessings. I think we need to figure out what the guy, the one skull that's staying in place is up at the top. I'm allergic to work, and my brain knows that I have to work in a few hours. Even if it's 12 or more. <laughs> Coffin Keeper has a secret item. Or a second item. On one of them, the rarer item was the first item. <laughs> Pharaoh Knight. Got a little Pharaoh Knight stuff. <laughs> Discs be fought him. Somehow you count as a human. I guess it's just a mask? Yep. You guys were just stumbling around in the dark till I got here. Bumbling and bumbling. Reinforcements, huh? Please drop your stuff. You too. Stuff dropped. <clears throat> Man, all these guys are so stuffy. <clears throat> You're gonna regret this. I don't need anything. You need yeah, go all the way so we can kill the guy who has stuff. <laughs> Really likes water. Genius is a big fan of water. He likes to use the agua. Nothing else over here. There was a box. It's open. What does hitting the guys with the darkness do? Is it the same as hitting them with a fireball? Oh, 
much stuff to make. <clears throat> the darkness beam was a lot of fun! Really? All it does is make it pitch black. It's not any fun at all. You're an idiot, Lloyd. What? Why? Darkness is great. It's the best chance to make your moves on a girl. That is not true. That is friggin' creepy. What? You know all sorts of things to him, as much as you like! You're a creep. Hey, Sheena, Zealous just said he's the one who had his hand on your butt. What? What did you just say? Whoa, wait, stop! It's a misunderstanding! I haven't touched you yet! Ah! God, he's like the worst. He's like on my top five least favorite main characters in a game. Not much of a specimen. Vegan <laughs> Etna. Which it's saying a lot to be put in the same list as a literal demon. <laughs> He really likes water. He uses a lot of water spells. The world, or the world will be freed from Lucretius very soon. Then what will happen? The worlds will split apart, right? Isn't that fine? I can't imagine things getting any worse than they are now. Oh, why did you say that? I can't be so easygoing about this. Aren't you worried at all? What will be like after the world split? Hmm, well, yeah, I'd rather be on this side with the most cute honeys. I should have known better than to ask you. Man, they're really just trying to make you at the last minute be like, Dude, Zealous is a piece of trash. <laughs> <clears throat> decide what our plans are before we make a pact with the last spirit. True, this isn't a sort of issue we're likely to settle immediately. Considering the world split, we've no idea whether travel between them will be possible. It's impossible to extrapolate the exact probability, given the lack of data. Not high is all I can say. <clears throat> Why don't we take our brief tour of Tethyala? The final soul spirit resides in Silver. It is possible Sheena will be unable to return after forming the pact. Right, I'd like to say my good... To speak with everyone in Mizuo. There's our plan, then. We'll do a loop of Tetheala, then head out. Use this time to make up your mind. Who's coming with us to Silverant, and who wants to stay in Tetheala, you mean? I think the arena and the prison were connected. Good job, Regal. It's a shameful thing that I knew that. Well, but thanks to that, we were able to rescue Kate, so don't worry about it. Even if you searched all at the alley, you wouldn't find another noble who's got connections to high society, big business, and the jail cell. Hey, Zelos, knock it off! A truly shameful thing. Yeah, they're really trying to make you hate Zealous all of a sudden. They're like, oh, in case you forgot, Zealous is still an asshole. I'm heading off for a walk. Alright, so something's gonna happen to him. Well, what do you think? Any impressions of Tethyala? It's amazing. Everything's so, I don't know, advanced? Yes, including the divide between the rich and poor. Yeah. 
I'm not alone having my entire life planned out for me from birth. Here, pretty much everyone's life prospects hinge on their social status. <clears throat> Let me tell you, it's suffocating. Do you hate it? At the Ella? Hmm. No, I don't think I do, at any rate. I love it, warts and all. Hey, it's Zelos! What do you want, ankle biter? If we catch you, we get a reward. And you think you can bring me in? Nuh-uh, I'm not gonna catch you at all. I'm letting you go, so give me something. Greedy little moochers never grow up to be anything, child, assuming they even make it to adulthood. Beep! <laughs> but, well, don't go getting caught, Zellos! Bye-bye! Man ears? I wonder. Anyway, let's move on to the next city. I'm good on Mel Tokyo. had to do the arena with him earlier, I guess. I don't know how feasible it is to do. I don't know if you have to be, like, massively overleveled or what. But, I mean, taking on three opponents and at least one that's ranged in the first round doesn't make me feel confident for the later round. Why can you shoot fire in here? <laughs> Guess that implies you must be able to get here, like, maybe post-game or something. Also implies that you must be able to come back here later. Unless you want to do the red light, green light! No. <laughs> Why'd they have to make it so unfun? Oh, Lloyd, the news has reached my ears. I have told you we are prepared to separate the worlds immediately. People of Mizu are planning to move to Silver Rock, right? I fear now that we've provoked the ire of the king. No place for us remains in Tetheala. I see no cause to cling to this land out of sentiment. However... Hmm, you got some problem with the plan? We lack time. 
I fear the deadline is coming upon, upon us too soon. We've no choice but to remain. What? Everyone's still out on their missions. We've got people inside the Renegades, people in Mount Tokyo, some in Silveron even, thanks to the Renegades. I've resolved that those left in Silveron are to follow Sheena. I have faith that she will do what is best. Wait, so does that mean you're coming to Silveron too, Sheena? Well, obviously. What, you're planning on making a pact with Summon Spirit without me? Staying here just isn't an option. And you're alright with that? I don't see how I have much choice. I can't leave the world to suffer, and I won't abandon you guys. We will leave this place eventually. We will travel to some new corner of Tetheawa. Somewhere beyond the King's Eye. I'm sorry, I made a promise to you and all, and now... Our agreement stands. Some of us will live in Silverot. Don't worry about it, Lloyd. As long as I'm there teaching the chief's... Chief's... Igaguri style ninjutsu, it'll be home. We'll still be the people of Mizuro. You'll have... You'll have kept your promise. Now go. Leave us. We shall be fine. Go and cleave the world apart as quickly as you are able. And to do that, we need to know who's staying and who's going. Let's hurry to the next town. at my daddy's grave. Nothing remains for me here. But if I leave this land, no one will be left to look after him. Or say it. It is curious. I am free of any physical bonds, but my heart feels tied down to this place. I know the feeling. It's not easy for anybody to leave their world behind. I know I'd be torn if I were in your shoes. Persea, if you decide you want to stay here in Tetheala, you can. It just means we'll have to say our goodbyes before making the pact with the last summon spirit. I hope you won't, but... But if that's what you really want, then that's what you should do. I will consider it. Thank you. Please continue to the next destination. I will be alright. You need to talk to what's his name, the dwarf guy. Oh, that'd be a good plan. Welcome back! And Rain, too! Hi, everybody! What are you doing here? Mythos was teaching me about different clouds. Yeah, you can tell what the weather's gonna be like, or if storms coming, just from the clouds' shapes. 
That's amazing, Mythos. You're amazing. Ah, stop it. I bet you already knew that anyway. Yeah, but I went to school. You figured it out all on your own. That's seriously incredible. Seriously? You're gonna make me blush. Anyway, what brings you by? Taking a little break? Uh, not quite. Actually, we're... What? Then I won't be able to play with you guys anymore? I won't see Genus ever again? We don't know that for sure yet. But there's a chance, so now we're deciding who wants to wind up where. And, and no way! You can't leave me! We're friends! Can't we just leave everything like it is? No, Mythos. Silveront and Tetheala would keep hurting one another. They'd both be destroyed. Yeah, you're right. I know. I, I, I'm i sorry for, for making a fuss. Why can't he just go to Silveron? Hey, wait! What happened? Mythos just ran by. The boy looked distraught. I think the news that or that he might not ever get to see Genus again hit him pretty hard. Lloyd and his friends intend to separate Silverant and Tetheala. I see. And so you suspect travel between the worlds will become difficult. Do you disagree? No, I suspect that's probably right. The two worlds were cleft apart or will be cleft apart with no contact between them ever again. Just like the legends, we'll never be able to visit the people of Tetheala, way up on the moon. Wait, it was Silveroth that moved to the moon? Or, it was Silveroth that moved to the moon. Tetheala's moon, from their perspective. Just like ours is Silveroth. Mythos really seems sad. M maybe, maybe I should... Don't tell me you're thinking of staying here, Genus. I don't know. I'm sorry. I thought I had made my peace, but... I'm sorry. It's okay. You've still got time. Welcome back, everyone. Mythos, here. Well, what's this? A flute made of linkite nut. We'd like you to have it. But... It was our fault that the memento of your sister was broken. Thank you! It may not be the same as your sister's flute. And no, don't worry about it. Your feelings are enough. I, I'm so happy. I mean, the linkite tree is supposed to be extinct. You sure know a lot of stuff, Mythos. You even knew about the Linkite Tree? Yeah, really. I wish you could come along with us instead of Lloyd. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> if there's anything I can do for you, I will. Come talk to me anytime. You got it. Thanks, Mythos. I'm say anything different. What do you suppose the hero Mythos was like? Just like you, I bet. Me? They say he had allies with him, too. Friends like yours. Who he traveled the world with, fighting for peace. Yeah? It's kind of nice to know he wasn't all alone. Yeah, it's tough being alone. I'm guessing Mythos was like the main character of the first Tales game or something. I don't remember names that well. It just seems like that would make sense based on the way they talk about it as ancient, ancient history. Having friends and making all these prophecies and stuff. Or making all these vows and stuff. 
Don't forget also there's the snowy place. something to do here. Please allow me to visit Alicia. I have a responsibility to oversee the well-being of the Lazareno Company. But serving the worlds is necessary to avoid creating more tragedies like Alicia's. I can't simply choose one over the other. It doesn't have to be about which is more important, Regal. Think of coming with us and staying here. I think coming with us and staying here to guide Tetheala are both equally important. There's no wrong choice. I wonder which path Alicia and Daddy would have wanted me to choose. I'm sure they would have wanted you to follow your heart, Prisea. No, I'm sure that's what they do want for you. My heart. Same goes for you, Regal. Forget get about which is worthy or whatever. What is your gut telling you? A fair question. I will consider it. So do you have to, at like one point, just pick the four that get to come back with you and everyone else gets left behind or something? I don't remember. That can't be right anyway, because I don't see any way that Rain and Genus would go to different places, so you couldn't separate them, and you have to have Colette and Lloyd in the party, as far as plot is concerned. So that can't be right. <clears throat> this makes sense. No one has anything, any ties to this place. <laughs> Fair, who the fuck built the stone hinge? People, I guess. places and stuff that I haven't been to. Yet. That's what I mean. Well, okay. What, were you stuck on the wrong side of the wall? I guess everyone's coming. Uh, we opened them all the last time we were here. And I walk all the way up again. 
you have in mind. You can't really fly to the roof of the yards. There's a quick jump option. <laughs> quick jump? What's that? Uh, nothing! <laughs> Fourth wall breaking! <laughs> Not much of a specimen. Uh, at least we have another quick jump option. Thanks, Lloyd. Although, again, is lampshade hanging a problem really a, a quote unquote solution? <laughs> oh, yeah, you have $45,000 to donate back to the boys. Saying Stop. Kratos, don't get in our way. Hear me out. The Deris Carlon core system just finished calculating its answer. If you form the pact with a summoned spirit, the protection around the Great Seed will be completely lost. And that's exactly what we desire. Don't you understand? What you're hoping for will not happen. Silence! Do you think we'll pass up this opportunity? Lloyd! Leave him to me. Go now! Form the pact with the summoned spirit of light! Why is it that none of the people ever seem like they're actually your ally? Protection around the 